Hey guys, it's Bren. I have a huge haul to show you. So this weekend, I went to a regular Bath & Body Works, a Bath & Body Works outlet, a Yankee Candle outlet, and a White Barn store. So this will probably be a pretty long video, um, but I will in the description write where I'm going to talk about what, so that if you wanna to skip to the part you're interested in, you can. I'll start by talking about the Yankee outlet. This was actually really cool. It was like a really cool store. I was in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. Actually, I actually went on Monday because one of my jobs was on spring break, so I had the day off, and it was like a whole day trip because this place is like a, while, a ways away from me, not quite two hours, but it was far. But there are not a lot of Yankee outlets, I don't think, because this was like the only one anywhere near me. And when I walked in, I immediately snapped a couple pictures because it was just a cool looking store. One wall was all large jars and large tumblers, just in no particular order, just tons of candles to look at. The other side was medium and small jars, and all the large jars at the time that I went were four for 44, and all the medium candles were three for 28. So it seemed like they had like the typical stuff you would see at a normal Yankee store, but not necessarily all the scents were there. It was really like a see what you can find type of thing. But then there were old things, online exclusives, um, there were different labels and things that you might have seen sold in like a Target or something were also there. I didn't really plan on buying anything there, honestly. Even after I was in there for a while, it was neat to walk around, but I didn't think I was gonna get anything. But then <laughs> I made the mistake of posting, uh, it wasn't really a mistake, but I posted a picture of the store on an online candle group on Facebook that I'm part of, and everyone thought it was so cool, and they were so excited about it, and they were like, you know, wow, what a good deal that is, and can't wait to see what you got. And then I gave into the peer pressure. I felt like I had to get something. Um, and so I went back. Like I left the store, thought about it. My poor boyfriend was with me and he invited himself. I didn't even think about inviting him because I knew it was gonna be just like a day of shopping for candles. But when I said I was gonna go, he was like, oh, I'll go with you, you know, I'll look for clothes. Then I felt bad because half his day was standing in candle stores with me because I was definitely having an indecisive day. In the end, I decided to do it, uh, the four for 44, because I had, well, for one, I'd been wanting a bunny cake. They had it there, obviously. This one, I I had burned it in a votive, and I liked the votive, and I loved the way that it smells. I think it smells so good. But I had heard that it was really, really weak, and people complained about this all over the place. Just, it's not a strong candle at all. The reviews on their website even say that. So I didn't know if it would be worth it, but it was tempting still because I really liked the way that it smelled. And I had a buy one, get one coupon that started March 15th. And I had mentioned that to my mom and she said that she would go in with me on like that and get a mango peach salsa. So I knew I could get her that too because they did have that at the outlet. So that was two out of four. And, but I could have waited too and I could have just gotten those two at a regular store later in the month. But I saw this one, this, it's called Summer Strawberry. Now it's weirdly not the same as Summer Scoop. You would think it was and it's very similar, but it's not. I had um, burned a votive in Summer Scoop as well, actually two votives in that, and I liked it okay, but it was a little mild for me and not quite like berry-y enough. I smelled more of like, it's funny because this is a picture of strawberry ice cream on it. So does Summer Scoop. Summer Scoop smells like strawberry ice cream to me, but it smells more like the ice cream part, more cream than berry. And this was more intensely berry to me. So this was more somewhere between Summer Stra Sweet Strawberry and summer scoop. And the sales associate agreed with me, they're different. I had them side by side. This one smells to me cold, like frozen strawberries, like what you would get in the grocery store. I used to defrost and put them on pancakes when I was a kid. And I just liked that about it, that it was a little more strawberry than the, stra than the summer scoop uh, smelled to me. And so that was like my major hang up. I was like, I really don't need to spend $44. I don't know. And I ended up getting it again because I just felt like I'm never going to be back here. Like I should do this. So I got that. And then for the fourth one, so I got the bunny cake. I got the summer strawberry. I got the peach mango salsa for my mom, which I don't have here because I already gave it to her. Then I let um, my boyfriend pick the fourth one. 
for being a good sport. And he picked this, the Journeys Collection, uh, Sicilian Orange. And actually, it was between this and the lemon one for a while in the same collection. This whole collection smelled pretty strong, cold at least. So I'm hoping, I burned this once earlier today and I could smell it. It wasn't like knocking me out, but sometimes the first burn, you can't really tell. I hope it's strong because his place has really high ceilings. So I'm going to take it over there, burn it some more. We'll see how that goes. It smells like orange candy. And it also smells very similar to Bath Body Works Sicilian Orange Candle from the Italian collection. They had one of those too. Um, as for these guys and strength, I've burned both of these already twice as well. This one, I could have done without it. I mean, if I could do it all over again, I probably should not have made this purchase because I spent too much money that day. And I have too many candles to burn now. I am backlogged on reviews. I'm sorry about that because I have that last Yankee haul. I promised you guys reviews. I am burning the candles. I'm trying to get those out there. I just, I have so many things to burn. I don't even know what to do. This one, you can see too that even though it's a tumbler, it has like the wax that's kind of variated like they put in the jars. I don't know if maybe you Yankee people could help me out. This looked to be... Maybe, I'm just guessing here totally, a line that they create just for the factory stores or the outlets because they had a lot of these with just a very plain looking label and very plain names, like just coconut with a picture of a coconut and that was it. So either they're a line that was made for like a third party seller, like to sell in some other store or it's just like an outlet thing. This one is like a medium throw. I mean, I don't know. It's fine. It's okay. The bunny cake, actually, it's, yeah, it is really light, but my expectations were so low that I was happily surprised that I could smell it. Like if it was sitting right next to me at my desk, like I could catch a whiff of it here and there. It is kind of one of the candle you go like this too. If you really want to smell it, it's definitely not filling a room or anything, but I expected even worse after hearing all those things about it. So um, I'm not bummed that I got this one. I just, I don't know. I'm going to stop thinking about how much money I spent. But anyway, the Yankee store was really cool. And I think if you were a big Yankee person, like I'm just not, but if like if Bath and Body Works outlet was as cool as the Yankee outlet, I would be in heaven there because that's like my thing. So if you're a big Yankee person, it would not be um, a waste of your time, I think, to take a drive someday to a Yankee outlet. At least I can't vouch for all of them, but the one in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin was really cool. Maybe call first, make sure you get the best sale, you know, that they have the 444 or something equally as awesome going on. You could not use any... Yankee coupons there that were for regular stores because I had some of those mm -mm. and I could not use my $5 voucher from the Yankee rewards program there although I was told that I would still get points from my purchase but I couldn't cash it in there so I don't know also I noticed on the receipts they say no returns to the Yankee outlet but you can exchange exchanges only and the last thing I'll say about the Yankee stuff is that I will be doing Instagram reviews, at least, if you're curious on how the orange one or the strawberry one's working out for me. Bunny cake, maybe I'll do a full review on that. It depends. Like I said, I'm super backlogged on things to review and burn, but stay tuned. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Wake Up Writing. I have some other pictures from some cool stuff um, in the store, too. I found some weird things like a schnitzel and noodles candle, and that was kind of funny as well, so... All right, then it was time to go to the Bath and Body Works outlet. And actually, before I went to the outlet, I had gone to a regular store um, because I didn't know the two for 24 candle sale started like on Thursday or Friday. And I didn't think it would go into Monday when the Hawaiian collection was released. So I went to get some old favorites first while I still had 10 off 30 coupons too that ended on Sunday. And I picked up a coconut leaves because, you know, it's just an old favorite. I'm about halfway through the one from last year. So I just wanted to get a backup. This is my like second favorite candle of all time. My first is Market Peach. It's so good. It's just awesome. Wallflower is awesome in it too. And then I picked up a strawberry rhubarb marmalade backup because I'm a little over halfway done with my first one of these. And I probably, now that I got that Yankee strawberry, probably don't need another strawberry, but this is something I got because I don't know that it'll ever come back. Like this could be it for this candle. And I liked it enough that I wouldn't mind having like one backup. It was actually probably my second favorite candle in this line. My first being the Tequila Lime Cupcake, which was a white barn only. It's um, it's turned out to have a better throw than I originally thought. Like it got better as it went down the first one. Also, this one seems to be going, going, gone 
at the Bath and Body Works I was at, it was, uh, they only had two left and the other one had like messed up wicks. So I got the last good one. And then at the outlet, they had this one and the sparkling limeade on clearance, even though everything else from this line, the, uh, cinnamon sugar donut, vanilla bean marshmallow, cherry sangria, were still in the regular candle section. But this one, if you're interested in it, I would suggest getting it fast because once they're gone, this that might be it. They're gone. So I got those two. And then I, believe it or not, as much of a fan of Bath & Body Works as I am, I've never burned Island Margarita before in my life, but I picked one up and I am loving it. It is awesome. I actually got this because I've been burning a lot of Light Up the Room, which was a green candle from the Sparkly Lid collection. And I've been burning that a lot lately because I have it sitting out next to a little Happy St. Patrick's Day sign right back there. And so, because it just matches, it's sparkly and green and pretty, whatever. But I've been burning it a lot and Light Up the Room, I wish I had a backup of that too, was um, kind of a combination for me of like a green apple candle, like maybe the green apple orchard or wasabi apple, which I didn't really like. But it was that mixed with what I smelled as island margarita. They were very close. And so um, I got this one kind of because like I couldn't get another light up the room and this was my consolation prize, I guess. But I burned it and I, you know, like I said, I haven't been home much since Friday, but I burned it like a few times and it's throwing great. It smells so good. It's like becoming one of my new favorites. Now I want to get it in wallflowers. And I was just so happy to like have bought something that's throwing well and that I love because it's been so long since I've had a candle that I'm just like, oh yes, awesome. You know, something new anyway. So this was new for me. If you haven't tried it, you should, because I'm really glad that I did. So that was my regular Bath Body Works store purchase. Then on Monday, I went to the outlet and I made an exchange. I had one candle and two wallflowers to exchange. So I swapped those out for a Honolulu Sun candle. And I had already in my like Hawaii preview um, video, which was the last video I did, I believe, reviewed or, you know, did like a cold sniff review on a lot of the minis from that collection, including the Honolulu Sun. And I commented on how there were so many coconut scents and said that I would follow up. And I did. I smelled this one next to the Oahu coconut, next to Coco Cabana Beach and all the other coconuts in there. They're all like a little different, but it's still crazy to me that there's so many different coconuts. I mean, heck, the White Barn has coconut vanilla too, and I picked that one up, but I'll get to that. I would say out of the coconut scents, there's like the spectrum that goes from pure coconut to like really perfumey coconut. And you have Honolulu Sun over here, and Honolulu Sun is very like suntan lotion type of coconut. It's supposed to be coconut Pacific palm and sweet island nectar. It's soothing. It's it's smooth. It's creamy. I like it. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I've enjoyed the mini. Over here, you've got Tiki Beach, which has coconut in it, but it's mostly perfumey. And then in the middle, you've got here like Coco Cabana Beach, which I think smells very similar to Tiki Beach, but it's more coconutty, but it still has a little bit of that perfuminess. Here, you've got the Oahu Coconut Sunset. This is like a mostly coconut scent, but it has a little bit of a perfuminess. It does smell just like the body care. It's a little warmer than the Honolulu, which is all the way over here, and it's just mostly coconut. So that would be the spectrum for me. All those are in the same vein, but they vary a little bit. And I also got the Honolulu Sun in a wallflower bulb. And this, I'm excited to plug it in. I'm going to do it right after this video because... It smells like a little different than the candle in that I feel like the candle is just coconut, but the wallflower, maybe I'm getting more of that nectar. It smells a little bit different, a little bit fruitier. Plus, it's just this pretty, pretty blue. I'm going to get more of these at the next $3 wallflower sale because I love the color. And uh, yeah. And I also got a pineapple palm grass wallflower. And this is just pure pineapple. I mean, it just smells like pineapple juice or like an actual pineapple. Same thing with the candle. I probably won't pick one of those up just because I have so many candles right now to burn. Um, but it is good if you are if you think you would like like a pure pineapple scent, pineapple palm grass candle, just it smells like pineapple, the end, you know, but that's good. I like stuff like that. Sometimes they overcomplicate things. Eh. 
And then I grabbed a Honolulu Sun lip balm, which people were really, really excited about this. And I was too, but it really smells like nothing to me. And it tastes like nothing. This is so boring. It's very subtle. Like you just can hardly get anything from it at all. Uh, it's just like plain chapstick. Boring. Wouldn't waste your money on this because it's really boring and you don't get a lot of flavor from it. So there are a couple more things that I want to get in the Hawaiian collection. I'm hoping for the right coupon though. Uh, one of those spend $10 get a free item for up to $14 coupons would be perfect because I want to grab the Silver Palm Trees Wallflower plug and then maybe throw in a pocket back and get the Guava Colada in a single wick. I've been enjoying my mini Guava Colada. In my last review I was saying it's really sweet and I still think it is a little too sweet for me. That's why I don't want it in a three wick. But those stemless wine glass looking medium sized candles are kind of cool. I think I might enjoy this in that size. Weirdly, I've been hearing from other reviewers that the three wicks are not throwing in that scent, but I've heard good things about the smaller versions like the mediums. And my mini has been surprisingly strong for a mini. So who knows, maybe the smaller and medium candles in that particular scent are performing better. I don't know why that would be, uh, but that's just what I've heard kind of so far. As for anything else, um, I promised I would follow up on Sweet Maui Mango and Is It a Repackage of Mango Dragon Fruit. I actually, right after I filmed my last video, I watched some other reviewers who said the same thing. Like, you know, so I was right. My nose was right. It just doesn't make any sense. It's kind of silly of Bath & Body Works to have, I mean, they repackage stuff all the time under different names. But to have the same candle in two lines under two names in the store at the same time, I don't get it. I would almost kind of get it if the Sweet Maui Mango was in like the ombre glass because then people might prefer that packaging over the Brazilian collection, but it's not. The Three Wicks just in the plain clear glass jar with a boring lid, you know, like everything else. So the Brazilian collection one is actually like, I think, cuter looking. So I don't know what they're doing there. Uh, but as for the rest of the outlet experience, if you've ever been to a Bath and Body Works outlet, it's really nothing special. Um, unfortunately, I haven't it's kind of just like leftover semi-annual sales stuff. They have the online, ex online exclusive body care there, like some Coconut Breeze, Midnight Pomegranate, stuff like that. A lot of mini candles and medium-sized candles in like some random artisan collection and fall and Christmas scents, but no good old three wicks. I was looking for anything from the Coastal Cool collection. Mm -mm. Would have been great to find a light up the room. Mm -mm. Um, my mom wanted me to pick up some iced blackberry soap or hand cream, nothing like that. I mean, they just, it was really just like a regular Bath and Body Works with like some old crap in the back. And a lot of two, pa two pack wallflower refills and a ton of the four ounce wallflower tester candles. That's where those go to die, apparently, <laughs> uh, outlets. So I wouldn't recommend going to any great length to get to a Bath & Body Works outlet. Just wait for a semi-annual sale. It's the same kind of experience, but like a little bit lamer even. But anyway, let me talk about the White Barn trip. So it's been a while since I've been to a White Barn, and this was definitely not in you know on my way either because I was like up in Wisconsin, and then I took like a two-hour detour down to hit the White Barn on the way home, but I just, I don't know, I was in a shopping mood. And I wanted to check out all these new exclusive collections that they have. I haven't been in there since like the Tequila Lime Cupcake Iced Almond Chai thing was happening and I would got some of those. So I hadn't seen this collection yet or this collection, which this one actually like just came out this past weekend. So this was new. But then there's also been um, the collection in like the black and white jars with like this, you know, opaque lids and all this stuff. So spent a lot of time in White Barn too, again. My poor boyfriend. <laughs> um, first of all, I went in there to get more tequila lime cupcakes. My mom wanted two. She had burned mine. Uh, my first one, I probably have about this much left in. I really like it a lot. The more I burn it, the more I like it. And I gave it to her, let her burn it. She decided she liked it, told me if I ever went back to a white barn to get her a couple. I decided to pick myself up another one too, even though I already have a backup. So now I have like two and a quarter. My mom has a couple. This scent, when I first reviewed it, I said it was like a medium throw, but I actually think it's, I want to like up that a little. It's more like medium high. It does pretty well, I think, after the first couple burns. 
Now, I wonder why they put it in white barns only. But when I called the store before I went, I asked if they had any of these. And the girl said they had like six left. And I had her put a couple on hold. But at first she told me, she's like, you know, they'll probably still be here. That candle's been out for a while. But also, like, it's really one of those, like, people either like it or they don't. So I guess for her it hadn't really been, like, a high seller is what it sounded like. But I sure like it. My mom likes it. So had to get some more of those. And then when I walked in, the first thing that grabbed my eye actually was this collection. It's really pretty. I mean, you know, they went from having colored frosted glass with the Coastal Cool collection. That was the first like no lids but colored glass collection that came out. Then they had clear, like not clear, but you know, it's not frost, unfrosted colored glass with like the standard Bath and Body Works, um, ones that they have out all the time, like year-round type of collection. Then with the Hawaii, we're seeing the ombre frosted, but I like this the best, the non-frosted ombre, ombre glass. And the only one I picked up was a coconut vanilla, which is an old scent, and everything in these White Barn exclusive collections are, it's mainly like returning repackaged. So if you don't live near a White Barn, you don't need to freak out because a lot of them are the same. Vanilla bean macaroon in the uh, black jar is the same as vanilla bean marshmallow, I promise you. Um, black raspberry merlot, same thing as wine down or sun drenched, drenched vineyard. I mean, it's a lot the same. And vanilla coconut or coconut vanilla has been out before too. I actually have half of one in like an old collection from a white barn, the name white barn, but it was sold in Bath and Body Works with a gold lid type of collection. Uh, but I picked this one up because I do like the scent and it's pretty. And one thing I don't like about it, though, <laughs> is that there is a big divot in the middle. And I feel like that kind of cheats you out of some wax. It's not as high in the middle <laughs> as it is on the outsides at all. Definitely not flat. But I was just like enraptured by how pretty this collection was. And there was... My favorite one was turquoise water. So the glass, it was almost like this, but reverse. So it had like, it has like the dark on the bottom and then the lighter turquoise on the top. And I just thought they were so gorgeous. I really wanted to like the scent, but I don't like the scent at all. So I didn't let myself buy one of those. But this collection, um, like I said, it just hit. It's all repackages, but it sure is good looking. The main thing though that I needed to smell when I went in there, I knew was this collection. I don't know what they're called, sweet tea and screen doors or something like that. I think I've got that wrong. But I personally went in there to investigate this Georgia peach candle because when I first heard the description, it is Georgia peaches, dew covered leaves and a hint of creamy vanilla. I suspected that it might be a repackage of market peach, but no one could tell me for sure. I heard both things. Someone said it was a creamy peach, and I was like, that doesn't sound like market peach at all. I always thought of market peach as being like very straightforward peach, like what you would actually think a realistic peach, like when you cut into it, smells like very sour, you know, not sweet or creamy at all, just straightforward peach. And like I said, market peach is my favorite candle of all time, and so I know it pretty well. Yet, when I went into the white barn, this was the first thing I grabbed. I smelled it, and immediately I was like, you know what? I think it is a little different. It seemed like it had a little bit more of like a, I want to say like a candied aspect. Almost like it's more like harvest peach. This is tough. This is tough. Everybody's noses are a little different, but you also have batch variations. And honestly, I can't even, I wouldn't bet my life on this being the same as this or not. To me, market peach, like I said, smells just like you cut up fresh peaches in a bowl. Harvest peaches, which has come out in the fall before, smells just like that. And some people think it's a repackage, but to me, it smells just like that as if you sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon sugar on those fresh peaches. There's just a little bit of spice to it. And I don't have a harvest peach here to compare to, but I think Georgia peach is maybe a little bit more like that harvest peach. Like there's just a little something extra to it, but it's basically the same. It's a very little difference. And I could be wrong. It could be that they're exactly the same and I've got to burn it to know. Um, I have to burn this and this. Maybe I'll burn them side by side. At any rate, they're very similar. That I can say with confidence. And I'm 
not really disappointed in that actually because like I said Market Peach is my favorite and I've only got this one which is a new one uh, and one other like half so I have one and a half Market Peaches and it didn't come out this year I count on this one coming out every year because it usually does and I wanted to stock up on more because it's my favorite um, but it didn't come out at regular Bath and Body Works stores so I'm glad that Georgia Peach is at least like 95% the same um, because now I can grab more of these if I need to. I just got one on this trip so now I've got two and a half of this scent but maybe it's this exactly the same. It It's just that this is two years old at least. So it doesn't smell as strong. I need to burn them. Anyway, so that doesn't help you at all. I know if you're trying to figure out if they're the same, but they are probably the same. Maybe not. And then the other one, I had to smell this stupid sweet tea candle. People have been just going crazy over Southern sweet tea from this collection. And there was this big debate, you know, is it the same as London Calling or not? It's not. I can say it's not the same as London Calling, the Southern Sweet Tea. Um, London Calling was very lemony. This is more tea. The Southern Sweet Tea was more tea. And I almost picked one up, but I think I was just, I just wanted to get one because everyone else likes it so much. And I wanted, I was thinking about getting it just to review, but I knew if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I wouldn't have bought that candle for myself. I didn't like it. And I'd spent so much money that day and I you know I, I bought a coach purse too so I was like super poor that was the whole reason I haven't went on the outlet trip though I was like I need a new purse and then it just turned into this big candle trip but anyway I did not get a southern sweet tea to me I just didn't like it it did smell like tea in but unsweetened tea it didn't smell very sweet there are plenty of other reviewers out there reviewing that candle so if you're interested in it, you can find, you know, plenty of people talking about it. So anyway, that's it, guys. Whew. It's a lot of stuff. Oh, and I also got like a bajillion white bar matches. Oh, one more thing I did want to show you, though. For the first time ever, White Barn gave me like throwback coupons. I got a couple. Uh, they have never done this before. They did this trip. You know, sometimes they take my Bath and Body Works coupons. Sometimes they don't. I got a very nice sales associate this time who did not only take my Bath and Body Works coupon, but took my expired Bath and Body Works coupon. It had expired the day before. And I was like, you know, sometimes at actual Bath and Body Works, they give you like a three-day grace period on these. Will you guys take that? And, and they did. So who knows? But then they gave me these. These are for a free item up to $12.50 with a $10 purchase, which is basically like a mason jar or medium candle there at the White Barn. Um, so there's those and these are April 13th through May 10th, but I just thought it was, you know, neat that they actually have them now because white barn coupons usually suck pretty bad. Like the, I've only ever gotten email coupons from them before, but they're always like buy two, get one of regular price candles. And it's like, that's not a good deal. You know, the two for 24 is a better deal than that. All right, I better stop this video because it is going to be long. But thanks for watching, and do stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram for little updates and reviews of littler things, but I will be getting some, you know, singular candle reviews out there. I'll review this. I'll review this. I've got a ton of Yankee stuff to review. So sorry for the delay. Um, I am going to get burning. I don't even know what I'm going to light after this. I'm going to light multiple candles. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.